Hi, my name is Warren Pope. I'm going to demonstrate how to use Google's Gmail to read and send email. First, log in to gmail.com. I'm going to open up a new tab here. Type in www.gmail.com. And again, I'm going to enter in my username. I have it saved in my drop down. I'll enter that. Next, your password. Let's click down to the sign in button. And we're loading our Gmail account at this time. By default, the mail inbox is selected and the emails that I have received are displayed. Uh, to view the emails in the inbox, I want you to just hover over your mouse over that email and click, such as the first one here. The first email has an attachment. What we can do is we can hover over the attachment and scroll down a little bit and we can see that the attachment was guided tour of gmail.pdf. What we can do is we can click the view button to view that attachment and to see what it looks like. Again, this just opened up a new tab with the attachment within it. I can scroll down the attachment, this PDF. Let's close that back down and back to our inbox. If I really like this email, I want to forward it to one of my friends or reply to the sender. I can do that just by selecting either the reply to the sender or clicking forward to forward it to a new person, a new contact. If this person I know just sent this to me, I can click the invite Warren Pope to chat. This allows this person to be added to my chat room, which is on the lower left hand side over here. That's a nice way to communicate with your friends and customers and partners and so forth. If I want to reply, let's just click the reply to see what it looks like. Again, this just puts in a reply to the person who had sent the email originally. Thank you for sending this to me. I just typed in a quick little message back to the sender. I can check the spelling to make sure it looks good when it's done. That's just fine. I can scroll down a little bit and then I can click the send button. That sends it off back to the sender. I'm still back at looking at that email and if I like everything that I had seen to the original email up here at the top, I view the attached PDF. Thank you, Warren Pope, with the attachment here. I can click the forward button and forward it to perhaps a new person. Again, I can click the Add CC to add that, as well as blind copy someone in. I can make sure that the attachment is still selected so that the attached file be forwarded off to the new email address. And then I can press the Send. Save now, put it into, the, um, into a Drafts folder. Discard will just discard what you're currently working on. I'm going to click Send to send it off and send it back, send it forwarding on to the new email address. There are quite a few new little options over here also that we can do, such as archive this email, report as spam, we can delete it. We can also move it to another labeled address if we wish to. Next, I'd like to show you a little bit about composing an email, a new email. Uh, there's on the far left-hand side again, up over here, there's a button that says Compose Mail. Just click on that. In the to box, just type in the email address that you wish to send this new email to. We, again, we can copy someone in. We can also blind copy someone. Just click on that and that opens up. And in this case, I'm going to not do that. I'm going to now though enter in my subject line and just put in a quick little subject line. This is a test email. And then I'm going to put in the body. Hey, just sending a test email. Blow that warrant. Again, we can customize this email by highlighting it. I'm just doing um, highlighting an entire area and then selecting the B's and the italics and maybe I want to do a, um, a different color, maybe a red or something. And I can check the spelling, make sure it's done and everything's okay. Scroll down a little bit and I'm going to, what I'm going to do is also press the send button to send it off. Again, I can do the save now or I can discard it. So let's click the send 
and send it off and sent it went <laughs> okay and what we're done now here is what we've done is we've logged into Gmail uh, we looked at how we can actually uh, view emails that have been sent to us and after we view them we can also reply for the email back to the person I also show, shared with you how you can compose a new mail message and send that to a new person what we want to do if we want to discard one of these emails we can highlight this and we can hit the delete that will put it into the trash bin again you can always go back to your more labels and you can look at what's in your trash you can look at what's in your spam folder see if there's any spam caught you can look at all your emails uh, another great thing to look at is your sent mail sent mail are those that you have sent off after a month or two you maybe have to get back to something you can also look at your sent mail that you have sent to somebody to try to remember the conversation uh, you can also enter in the name up here and click search mail to try to retrieve emails that you have sent and received final thoughts about Gmail and sending and receiving email is that uh, it just takes time review the options practice sending email and reading the email uh, try attaching a document or a picture to your email uh, send your emails to a friend and ask them to uh, re reply to you. Have fun with this amazing tool and practice. For articles and videos featuring my how-to tips, go to www.warrenpope.com. Remember, sign up to receive my latest tips and notifications. That's it for now. Thank you.